The purpose of the Victoria Cross is to acknowledge most conspicuous bravery or some daring or preeminent act of valour or self-sacrifice or extreme devotion to duty in the presence of the enemy. This is the story of the first Victoria Cross to be awarded to an airman. William Barnard Rhodes Morehouse was born into a wealthy family in London on 26th September 1887, the son of Edward Morehouse and Mary Ann Morehouse, formerly Mary Ann Rhodes. There were four children, William and his sisters Anne and Marie, and their brother Edward. The family moved to Northamptonshire in 1887, living first at Lamport Hall and moving to Spratton Grange in 1899. Rather than the traditional country pursuits of the wealthy, such as riding and fox hunting, in which his father attempted to induct him, Morehouse from an early age was fascinated with mechanics, initially model trains, then fast cars and fast motorcycles, developing a reputation for fast and reckless driving as he grew up, going on to participate in numerous motor rallies, trials and races. As a scholar, he was less than stellar, more interested in the internal combustion engine than his schoolwork, but received his initial education at the Golden Parsonage Prep School in Hertfordshire and Harrow Public School for Boys. In 1906, he visited relatives in New Zealand. The family wealth originated there by the efforts of his grandfather, William Barnard Rhodes, for whom he was named and who seems to have been something of an adventurer, pioneer, entrepreneur and politician. On Friday, 22nd of March 1907, he was racing a new motorcycle along New Brighton Beach in Christchurch, practicing for a carnival the following day, when seven-year-old Frederick Kenneth Gourlay ran out in front of him and was struck. Gourlay died several hours later. Morehouse was charged with manslaughter and pled not guilty. The outcome of the trial is unclear, but apparently the charges were dropped and he was able to return to England. In 1908, he was accepted into Trinity College, Cambridge, after a cramming course in order to qualify. He stated afterwards that Cambridge was a waste of time and he should instead have gone straight into the engineering shops. During his brief time there, he was notable for racing in a 1907 Grand Prix Fiat named Linda. The name was not casual by any means, as Linda Beatrice Morritt was his long-term romantic interest, the two having been introduced before his trip to New Zealand by his sister Anne. At this time, flying was taking off, both literally and figuratively, and it was perhaps inevitable that Morehouse should first take an interest and then become fascinated with the new technology. He learned to fly in late 1909 in a Blériot Type 11, though his pilot's license is dated 17th October 1911. The November 20th issue of Flight magazine reports that on November 16, 1909, he was elected to the membership of the Aero Club of the United Kingdom. Demonstrating that his interest in mechanics had resulted in a considerable education, he experimented with monoplane designs, culminating in a partnership with one James Radley to develop a racing variant of the Blériot Type 11 called the Radley Morehouse monoplane. As such, he can be regarded as a pioneer of early aviation and was followed in the aviation press. In September 1910, Radley and Morehouse went to the United States to participate in demonstration flights and racing events in which they were quite successful, flying a Blériot Type 11. Upon their return in 1911, this trend continued. Morehouse's private life was flourishing. On May 14th, his engagement to Linda was announced, followed by the wedding itself on June 25th. Linda, it seems, was of similar nature to her husband, with an appreciation of aircraft and fast cars. However, this was to have tragic consequences. While on what might be regarded as a somewhat unusual honeymoon, the couple were in Belgium to pick up a Bruges biplane. 
Accounts vary, but as part of returning the aircraft to England, Morehouse officially became the first person to transport two passengers across the English Channel on August 4, 1912. One of the passengers was Linda. The other was journalist John Henry Lederbauer. The flight was rough, conducted in weather only marginally suited for the attempt, and terminated in a crash landing near Ashford, Kent, which destroyed the aircraft. Linda was pregnant at the time, and subsequently suffered a miscarriage, but no one else was harmed. This seems to have brought a temporary halt to Morehouse's flying career, though he continued racing. In late 1912, Morehouse changed his name to the hyphenated Rhodes Morehouse as specified by a clause in his grandfather's will in order to gain his inheritance. This caused some confusion in the press and he was variously referred to as William Barnard Rhodes Morehouse or William Barnard Rhodes Rhodes Morehouse, although the former is correct. During his two-year hiatus from flying, Linda gave birth to a son, William Henry Rhodes Morehouse, on March 4, 1914. It can be said that at age 26 he was settling down. The family, by this point, had moved to Parnham House near Bowminster in Dorset. And then war was declared. In August 1914, Rhodes Morehouse signed up with the Royal Flying Corps with the initial rank of second lieutenant. Initially, he was posted to Farnborough, where he was involved in engine testing, which seems a little odd, but he hadn't flown in two years. Given his experience with engines and mechanics, perhaps it was a good fit under the circumstances, but appeals to higher authority and a shortage of pilots saw him sent out in March 1915 to join No. 2 Squadron at Merville, flying Royal Aircraft Factory BE-2 reconnaissance and light bombers. Through March and April he was mostly engaged in reconnaissance, artillery spotting and aerial photography. During the Second Battle of Ypres, he was ordered to bomb the crucial German-held rail junction at Courtrai. On 26 April 1915, flying in at under 300 feet to ensure he could drop his 100-pound bomb accurately, he encountered heavy machine gun fire from the ground. Wounded in the thigh and with three fingers of his right hand missing, he managed to release the bomb left-handed and survive the blast. Returning to Allied lines, he ran into further heavy fire and was wounded twice more, one bullet passing through his stomach, before managing to get his aircraft back. He made a perfect landing, although the plane was holed in 95 places. His attack, performed solo, was said to be the most important single bomb drop of the war at that point, because it forced German troops to march to the front on foot, so that they arrived late and tired. His citation in the London Gazette on 22nd May 1915 reads as follows. Second Lieutenant William Barnard Rhodes Morehouse, Special Reserve, Royal Flying Corps. For most conspicuous bravery on 26th April 1915 in flying to Courtrai and dropping bombs on the railway line near that station. On starting the return journey he was mortally wounded but succeeded in flying for 35 miles to his destination at a very low altitude and reported the successful accomplishment of his object. He has since died of his wounds. Rhodes Morehouse died on April 27th. He was 27 years old. He is buried in the grounds of Parnham House and his Victoria Park Cross is part of the Ashcroft Collection at the Imperial War Museum.